Welcome, I'm following the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with the EOMIUI 11 so I just press on the arrow right there and then choose our language. So I'm gonna select English and then again let's proceed and choose your, uh, choose your region and this only determines your time zone so you can just keep it as it is usually it's correct but if it's not you can also set the one that is for you then you have connect to network now if you don't want to you can completely skip this by just stopping right here skip and let's go to uh, that i have read terms and conditions now if you want to read them you can tap right over here and here we have all the terms and conditions and we're done reading, cool. So let's proceed on. Then you have Google services, so you have localization, scanning, and also send user and diagnostic data. Uh, now, the first one is good for like Google Maps to allow you get an accurate route to your location uh, that you have chosen. Then you have scanning, which if I'm correct, it just basically uh, scans where you are and then you see those annoying sometimes questions like how did you like McDonald's that you visited yesterday or something like that so I'm just gonna disable this now when it comes down to location um, apps like like I said Google Maps will require it um, to work properly and when you turn them on it will ask you to turn on the loca location so we'll just have to confirm it and then on the bottom you have the send user and diagnostic data basically it scans what you're uh, what you're doing on the phone, I assume, and, um, and sends um, basically data to improve the usability. Now you can basically read all of this, extend it, and see what it exactly does, as you can see right here. And then at the bottom, once you scroll all the way down, you'll have accept. Here you can choose to add a password, and you have two options you have the uh, screen lock and then fingerprint. Now, if you choose to take a fingerprint you will need to set up also a screen lock uh, but the other way around you can have only a screen lock and no fingerprint I'm gonna skip this for now I don't really feel like setting it up and then you have again uh, things that we have already disabled location uh, user experiment programs uh, diagnostic data uh, send them automatically that's nice um, automatic system updates so going straight through those um, we already chose to turn that off at least I did user experience uh, programs, uh, no thanks, uh, send diagnostic data automatically, um, it's not supposed to send it at all, like I chose that, then automatic system update, now even if you disable this I'm pretty sure it's, it's useless, uh, if the phone finds an update at one point and asks you to install it or you can choose later, um, that later is usually during the night where you cannot put it off again, so that's kind of uh, unfortunate. And then you have personalized ads, uh, probably one of the most intrusive parts of this. Uh, basically, um, checks whatever you're searching for. Um, so, um, whatever your search history is, it then goes straight to your ads. So, uh, you search for dog food, now you're gonna get dog food ads. You search for something, you're gonna get something. So, let's just tap on the arrow after we set that. And then you have the two teams to choose from. Uh, other than how they look like, nothing really differs between the wallpaper and icon packs. Um, you can customize it later on anyway. Or you can just choose whichever one suits you better and then finish it off and never come back to it again. And theme applied, and let's stop on the arrow right here and give it a moment for it to load apps because apparently it didn't have enough time during the setup. And there we go. As you can see now the setup is finished and we're on the home screen. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.